Do you hear my voice? Sean, can you hear me? <laughs> we're going to do just a little AMSR right now. And we're going to talk about cameras and the Click Away conference and a red dress. Yes. And then we're going to hijack some things. Wait, no, we hijacked a conference, not things. What do I do next? And wait, I need some things to click and clack and like do like... Oh, I hate that. That's going to give me nightmares. I can't listen to this. No. That's my worst nightmare. I'm triggered. <laughs> In five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Right, so lots of women in town. They've got like special events. They're doing a mimosas in the morning mimosas. tomorrow, and then they're starting their programming, and we're here with Adorama Camera, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. That kissed. Yeah. My yeah. computer, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, you working with them? Yeah, so um, we both own our own business. We're photographers in North Carolina, and so we do uh, workshops, and uh, Adorama flew us out here to kind of uh, talk with uh, the participants at ClickAway about a certain type of flash equipment that we use. So, it's Adorama's Flashpoint. It's the Evolve 200, so that stands for 200 watts. Um, the trigger would be an R2 Pro trigger, so it matches that. So there's a really robust, you know, troubleshooting tech support that's associated with buying from Flashpoint through Adorama. Our orange one, the same. Same. Uh, All the of same, these are the, the same. <laughs> yeah. So we had them set up with like oh, blue, red, and white. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was really awesome. She's a great wedding photographer in New Jersey. Yeah. She um, does a whole like yoga for photographers, how to like stretch out your back and your shoulders after a long day of shooting. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> have you also checked out SLR Lounge? Do you ever do like, yeah? Yeah. I was going to say, if you're, since you're getting the kit, check out the SLR Lounge Lighting 101 and Lighting 201 workshops. I love playing dress up. Oh, and the designer of the dress. Oh, Adam Zohar. So I, okay. I shoot um, Adam Zohar's lines of yeah. dresses mm -hmm. for his lookbooks. And uh, every so often I have an Adam Zohar yeah. dress kind of just randomly chilling right. in the back of my car. We got going on here. Um, what do you Can't got change that. This conference, it's yes. for women only. What are you doing here? I wasn't invited, but I came anyway. So, I think she saw your father, and she was like, yeah. whoa. And then she went to your website, and she was like looking around. Like, okay. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. we'll see. So OK, was the decision to get In-N-Out Burger for lunch at all in any way affected uh, our performance in the dress today? Uh, it didn't affect mine. I couldn't breathe. You looked a little pale at times, yeah. and I'm not sure if that was the flash or just the fact yeah. that there was no oxygen in your lungs. Right. But you, you didn't fall over, so that's good. That's true, I didn't fall over. Yeah. Yeah. Happy about that. I'm a pro. That means I can model professionally then? Yes, you can, actually. No, that is literally <laughs> all it takes. But you don't even need to worry about this. Unless we set up that other flash, then it, that one would be like B. But for us and our purposes, this behind me is A. And this is full power, one over one, like that. Um, then you change it up, you know, it can go all the way to one over 128, which is very soft. It's not as powerful. No, I thought it was beautiful. And we were able to set up two flashes. That was your idea, putting the second flash yeah, behind us. Yeah. So that way we can that get was, that, that extra pop, that glow. Technique. It's like it's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So when we were conference crashing and we took over the hotel lobby here at the Laguna, Laguna Cliffs Marriott. Yes. Um, what camera did you shoot with? Uh, recently I've been working a lot with my friends at Fuji. It is a medium format sensor camera, which means it's essentially a gigantic yeah. sensor. But the GFX is really rad because you can actually afford it and you can put an incredible piece of glass on it and create work that is just jaw dropping. It has this amazing, like just intangible value in the images that you can't, can't really describe. I mean, there's a lot of different, like, oh, I don't blow my reds, I don't blow my yellows, and the dynamic range is really cool, and the resolution's through the roof, but they, they just honestly look different. And it's, it's one of those things that's a, a beautiful camera to use, and I love, love it. But this is the first time I've ever used actual flash with it, because most of the time I'm shooting natural light, 
So we fitted your Fuji camera then with a um, X-Pro trigger. So we had the 200, um, Evolve 200 set up on a light stand, seven foot light stand with a 36 inch Octabox. Uh, we had one sort of 45 degrees from me and then also one behind. So what was your take on adding this flash setup to what we were doing today? With this conference, I feel like a lot of people are probably gonna be more oriented towards a the natural light look. People that were at the conference walking through and wanted to shoot something, they weren't going to be out of their wheelhouse, but they were right. going to learn about Flash. Right. They were going to learn something really great about Flash and how they could like, uh, put it into play in their own work and not have it really detract from what right. they would probably consider a signature look. Yeah. You know? Yeah. There's trade-offs, I think, in including Flash. It's extra gear now that you have to carry around. I mean, the Flash stands are portable and collapsible really easily, but Ooh, it's let's still talk heavy. About the one thing I found really cool yeah. about this. What's that? The flash stands that you guys have yeah. from Flashpoint, when you pick them up, yep. those little tripod guys at the bottom go, like, here's the visual. They yep. go, Phoop. Yep. And they go, when you put it back down, they go, Chomp. Yes. Emoji salsa lady. Yes. Which is what I hear he always gets his inspiration from when he is designing a gown, is through the keyboard emoji line. So what could be next? Maybe, maybe a nice um, A-line brown, dress with some swirls and googly eyes. Googly eyes right there. I think that would be great for Adam. The, the, poop, the poop dress? I, oh my god. I don't, yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think. So now we've got the background is still exposed. You can flip back to the other, like I think you took two shots on that one. So flip back to before when the flash was off. And you'll see the background. Yeah, the background didn't change much, but now he's exposed in a really pleasant way and it doesn't look like he's too overexposed. Yeah, yeah. Good. Wow. So that's not bad. And we could actually do like the um, histogram just it's to check it. Yeah, good. Yeah, because I cut off the lights. So we're just exposing for the background. Yeah. And now we're going to turn on our flash and then we're going to just kind of balance it out and try to get something that we like. So now I'm going to turn this back on. All right. So we're going to keep our settings that they are right now. And uh, we're going to put this flash up to uh, whatever. Let's try 16. Let's see what that looks like. America, I just checked my follow and listen, you, you motherfuckers owe me.